Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanika E. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing this beautiful V part wig from Harella Hair. Shout out to Harella Hair for sponsoring this week's video. If you did not know, this is a 24 inch V part body wave unit and it is gorgeous. So you can see the lace detailing on either side of the parting. This is going to have a seamless blend and this hair has a lot of body. It's very beautiful. On the inside, you will see that it has combs on either side of the parting and combs in the back and adjustable straps. I always love to run my hands through the unit just to see if there's any shedding right off the bat. And then as you can see, there is no shedding for this unit. I went ahead and dyed the unit because I did not like the kind of for color i love a nice jet black and this hair took the color perfectly so i did dye the hair using the watercolor method and i am obsessed also look at the beautiful texture of this hair this is allowing the hair to air dry i did wash and condition the hair and it is gorgeous i mean Ugh, I'm obsessed if I could wear it like this I would and I will but today I wanted to go ahead and layer it up put some nice you know cute bouncy waves in it so that is what we are doing So I'm going to go ahead and straighten the hair first before putting some barrel curls in it. I'm just using my Conair flat iron and then I'm going to follow that up with this hot tool barrel iron. I believe this is a two inch. Then I'm going to use a little bit of heat protectant slash shine spray from Design Essentials. And then you're going to need some type of holding spray. I'm just going to use this got to be because it is in the house. You're going to need some clips, a brush and a comb. And we're going to go ahead and get started straightening the hair. I love to straighten my hair prior to curling it because it's going to give it a nice, you know, kind of flowy, bouncy overall look. You can go in and begin curling it prior to um, straightening the hair because that will allow your curls to last a little longer. That's a pro tip. But anywho, I am using the chasing method to straighten this hair for a sleeker, um, straighter look. Now I did only use one pass for this because I'm not wearing the hair bone straight. If I was wearing the hair bone straight, I would go ahead and make several passes through the hair, but that is unnecessary. I'm just knocking the kind of body wave texture out so that I can then install my curls. As you can see, once the hair is straightened, the ends do look a little unkept. So we're gonna go ahead and clean those up as well as adding in a few layers throughout the unit. These are going to be some very long layers just to give the hair a little bit of bounce and movement. Now, I am not a beautician by any means. Some may call me a kitchen beautician, <laughs> whatever. I like what I like. So if you need a tutorial or something on how to layer the hair, I will link a few in the description bar down below. But I normally just make sure to put the scissors at an angle and just kind of glide them down and just eyeball the process as I go. And then once I put a few long layers in the unit, I am going to go ahead and do an overall trim at the bottom. You'll be able to see the difference of the weight of the wig after it's had a trim versus not having a trim. Thank you. 
Okay, ladies, y'all don't all get on me at once, <laughs> but your girl was being really, really lazy. So I took out a sew in and I decided to just go ahead and keep the same braid pattern that I had um, for that sew in underneath my wig. So that is a cheat code. Keep your braids, girl. If you don't feel like taking them out, just, just keep them in. Make sure you oil them. You'll be just fine. So as you can see, I plopped the hair right back on, went ahead and blended my leave out. And I think it looks really, really good. Um, very realistic. You can't really tell where my hair is and where the wig is. And that is what I love about a V part. It's very seamless, undetectable, and it gives sew-in vibes. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a few bouncy curls into this unit. Now the purpose of this is just to give the unit a little bit of body and a little bit of movement. I did not want bone straight hair today. So I'm going to be using the 2 inch barrel iron from Hot Tools. When curling the hair, I like to kind of catch the hair as it comes off the iron and allow it to cool a little bit in my hand. And then I will immediately clip it up with an alligator clip. For me, this step is very important to allow your curls to cool down, not only in your hand, but also in the alligator clip, allow them to set. And then when you brush them out, they tend to last a little bit longer and they're a little bit fluffier and cuter in my opinion. Once I've completed this side, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. As you can see, I have taken out the clips. The first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and spray the hair with a little holding spray so we can get a little bit of longevity from the curls. Next, I'm going to add in a little bit more of that Design Essentials Shine Spray to the hair just so it can look very lively, shiny, and healthy. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and take out the pins on the other side as well and do the exact same thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a tip that I like to do. I like to put a little bit of the oil onto my comb. A lot of times your comb or your brush will put a lot of kind of static tension on your hair. So when you add the oil directly to the tool, as it glides through your hair, it's not getting that static and it's not allowing those flyaways and things to come through. Try it out and let me know what you think. But as I went ahead and combed the curls out, I was loving the finished results. However, I wanted my kind of framing pieces in my face to lay a little bit better. So I went in and added a little bit more layers toward the front of my face. All right, ladies, that is it for me this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the finished product. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Again, thank you so much to Harella Hair for sponsoring this week's video. If you're interested in this unit, I will put it in the description bar down below. And I will see you all next week. Bye, y'all.